the deficit. zeros are in a trillion? Um, 12. 12. Damn it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Marcy hates it when I answer, ask her a question she doesn't know we the answer to. to get her but she really hates it when I don't ask her a question that she knows the answer to. So I'm Mark McKay. Welcome to Sage Mark Solutions. I'm Marcy McKay. Please subscribe. Leave us a comment that you have subscribed. Um, we're trying to be a little bit better. Uh, nope. That's that's a uh, notification bell. Okay, you know, if you want to comment, bing, then go ahead. But uh, all right, we're a little whacked out today because the country's going to hell in a hand. I don't, I'm not going to be that guy. I'm gonna, we're I, we're going to be hopeful, but I, explain what the $13 trillion is. 30. 30. 13. Okay. <laughs> 13's 30 chump change. trillion dollars, baby. Trillion is 12 Zero billion made it sounded like a made up number when I was growing up. Trillion, um, and, and, oh, okay. So I was going and I was trying to to educate myself on some new screen recording software uh, for the videos, and and I wanted to do a piece about the national debt. So I went to usdebtclock.org and I was just playing around with it. And then I went back to watch it and I realized there's about thirty seconds of me just going. <laughs> And I'm not, I'm not, it's not for effect. It's, it's me right. thinking, oh God, I got kids. Yeah. You know, my kids are young. <clears throat> That's how kids work. <laughs> uh, anyway. Well, just, just the world that we're handing. We're, we're going to break it down children. a little bit and we're going to talk about debt. We're going to talk about what the, de- you know, what really caught me was the deficit. You know, debt we can, we can, we can deal with. If we still have a massive deficit, that means that the boat is still link, leaking, you know. Um, but it's, it's if, if you've met with a financial planner and they have said defer taxes because they will probably be lower in your retirement. Run. <laughs> well, you know, just ask him to back it up. Yeah, or her. Look at, look at the national debt. $30 trillion. The government is spending each year $2 trillion more than it's bringing in. Do you think taxes are going to be lower when you retire? Yeah. Anyway, let's let's get into the numbers and see what, what we're looking at. And then afterwards, we're going to talk about some ways you can protect yourselves. You know, you don't have to play that game where if interest rates go up, you have 10 years of no returns or negative returns or a 40% correction. Anyway, or, or the talking heads make it sound like the stock market's the only game in town. I, 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 I had a guy that uh, I, I think got some money back out of Merrill Lynch back in 2000 when the market crashed because he called and he put in a, a sell order for a major, I think it was his profit sharing plan. And the guy didn't do it. You know, he, what, anyway. You know, they're telling you not to for a reason, and it's not for your benefit. So anyway, let's uh, let's look at usdebtclock.org and see Woo-hoo. what we're facing. All right, what are we looking at here? This is the usdebtclock.org, which is a real-time tracker of the United States national debt and all the various aspects that go into to composing that. Um, right off the bat, what's the big number? The... The total national debt, that is how much our country owes, $30.5 trillion. And, and you can see how quickly it's, it's moving up. And, and it, it's a terrifying number. I remember when it first hit a trillion dollars and everybody was freaking out. And then it just kept going and we just kept spending and spending and spending. And now here we are. So I, I was actually going to the screen to practice some screen recording with some new software. And I wanted to see what it looked like. And, and when I went back, I realized that, you know, it's, it's, it's even worse than I thought. And I knew it was bad. Um, the national debt, 
$30.4 trillion. Trillion was a number that wasn't around when I was growing up. So this kind of freaked me out. Um, but I'm used to that one. That, that one's been big for a while and it's been growing. The one thing that I've tried to keep an eye on is, is this number here. This is the federal debt to GDP ratio. And, and what that is, is people who, who you know, maybe had a, a conflict of interest or a bias or whatever, but they, they felt like it was okay for us to have massive debt and massive deficits are called, those people are called deficit doves. Deficit hawk would want the balance to be budget, the budget to be balanced every year, that sort of thing, or as close as possible. But deficit doves would say, oh no, deficits and, and debt are good for this country because we're growing. So we want to leverage it and we want to get that growth. But the amount we owe is $30.4 trillion. The GDP for this country, I'll have to move that, is $24 trillion. So this is not sustainable. In, in, in the year 2000, after all the tech boom, the debt to GDP ratio in this country was 58%. It's now double that. The ratio is double that. So this is something to be very concerned about. And I, anyway, the other number that floored me, and, and there's you know the video of me kind of just massaging my face for about 30 seconds, um, looking terrified is this one, the U.S. federal budget deficit. I knew it was bad. I knew it's been bad. I didn't realize that we were almost at two and a quarter trillion dollars for the deficit. Why does that sound so, you know, it sounds a lot like the debt, but but the deficit, that's the hole we're digging. And, and, and that's the rate at which that, that hole is getting deeper. So, you know, there have been years and it's been a while, but, you know, where that budget deficit was zero, there's been years where it's been positive. We've had a surplus. But two trillion dollars, that means, you know, basically the government, you know, these rocket scientists that we're sending to Washington are spending six point three trillion dollars. You know, that, that, what does that mean? Well, the, the, the problem with that number is that we only raise $4.1 trillion. So that creates a shortfall each year of $2.14 trillion. Now, these are projections. And I, and I guess what? When the government accounting office comes out with projections, which side do you think they err on? Do you think they underpromise and overdeliver? It's the government, people. So... Why do I care about this? One, inflation. We've talked about this recently. Everybody's talked about it recently. We're at about an eight and a half percent rate of inflation in this country right now. What tool does the Fed have to combat combat inflation? Interest rates. Well, what does inter what do interest rates affect? Debt. Look at this number here. If you owed thirty point four trillion dollars and you control the interest rate you know are you going to you know they're coming out and they're saying they're going to raise it six times for about a point and a half bump over the next um year and a half but what's that going to do to them about a third of this money is is kind of shorter term money so when they raise those interest rates it's going to raise the expenses of the united states government because the interest right now we're spending $431 billion a year just to service the debt on this country. $431 billion is interest on debt that we're paying. How much uh, the debt per taxpayer in this country is $242,000. So let's decide we all become deficit hawks and we want a balanced budget and we're going to chip in and let's just Go back to zero and start over and, 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 and we'll, we'll be more responsible this time. Everyone in the country that has filed the tax return last year would have to pay $242,501. The debt per, per citizen is $91,000. So that's, that's the taxpayer and his kid um, and his kid's neighbor. You know, it's, it's, it's not going to work and it's definitely something we, we need to be concerned about. But think about it. The biggest debtor controls the interest rates. We're faced with inflation. The tool that that debtor has 
to combat inflation is raising interest rates. So that's like saying, oh, I'm willing to bankrupt myself even worse in order to help out the economy, which is what they will try to do, but they won't be able to do it as aggressively as they need to. You know, is a quarter rate point hike going to to really stop eight and a half percent inflation when the Fed raised rates a couple of weeks ago? Did it help at the gas pump? Go to usdebtclock.org. Check out these numbers. I think we'll we'll probably do a live session one of these evenings and um, you know break down some of these numbers. It's 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 upsetting. Um, like I said, I, I went and I was just kind of practicing some screen recording, and I went back to watch it, and there's just um don't recommend doing it first thing in the morning because it, it did put a damper on my day. So. All right, um, let's go back and, and, and we're going to talk about what all this means and some things you can do to protect yourself about this mess that everyone's gotten us into. So <laughs> that was a little upsetting. Dun, dun, dun. $13 trillion. And like I said, the one that really concerned me, I've always been concerned about the debt to GDP ratio, but the the deficit. And and part of that is the pandemic, the, the stimulus spending to get us out of the economic slump of, of a couple of years ago, you know, the, the Build Back Better and, and the Secure Act and, and all that, you know, we knew that these were coming, but it's always something there's, you know, you know, because of this, we've got a deficit, you know, next year we're going to, and it just keeps getting worse and worse. But what can you do? We've shown how you do. We've shown how, deficits and debt is going to cause such an issue with inflation, that's going to be very difficult on the stock market. When interest rates go up, you don't want to be in the bond funds. No. So, you know, if, if you're with that old traditional 60-40 split that that your traditional you broker know, or your strip mall broker guy who's so conservative, um, because anyway. What was I talking about? <laughs> Oh, when alternatives, what, what people can do, regardless of what Washington's doing, that there are options that you, your 60, 40 split right. is, is, you know, stocks are going to go down. Bonds are going to go down when interest rates go up and inflation stays high and that's how it's going to work itself out. So what do you do? Have a smart place to park your money. What's some place that is liquid provides, can provides competitive returns, tax advantages. And is safe. And it's safe. The Sage solution. Let us put together a case study for you. Use the power of a secure asset in tier one arbitrage to produce solid returns and have complete liquidity. So if two years from now, let's say the market does go down 50%, maybe it's time to put a quarter of your portfolio back in there. Oh, we've got it over here in this liquid asset right. that we don't have to worry about whether it's a good time to sell it. We don't have to worry about what it's going to do to our taxes if, if we access some of that capital. You know, we might even be able to access and get a tax deduction for, you know, there are, there are different ways to do this, but it's not the way you're hearing from your Dewey Lynchman Howe broker. <laughs> you know, you, you need to educate yourself and, and, and think outside the box because there is definitely more than, than one option out there that the majority of us are hearing about that's being pushed. Well, we're, you know, real estate's going to be affected by rising interest rates. Crypto is showing a correlation to to the the broader equity markets. Twitter's not going to be a stock anymore. Um, <laughs> yeah. I don't know what well, and, and speaking of stocks, the stock market's terrifying. I mean, do you really want to gamble with yeah, your yeah. family's financial future? The, yeah, the, the the people you know with the high frequency trading know these numbers. Right. They know what we're looking at, so they're playing it. And so when you see this extreme volatility. Yeah. Is that a place for your secure retirement assets? I don't care what the talking heads, you know, you can go out and get an eight to 12% on the average equity. No, you can't. You, you might get lucky and do it, but you said the same thing in 1999 that you get 18%. Right. I, I anyway, you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> so <laughs> let's, um, <laughs> let's, let's, let's protect your assets. Let's set up a strategy session so we can, help you retire tax-free, but most importantly, not let you just take a 40% haircut. You know, you're going to take a 40% haircut when the market crashes. You're going to take a 40% haircut when you realize that all of your assets are in tax-deferred buckets 
and Congress raises taxes right. to forty percent. Um, could that happen? Yes, it's happened all the time. You know, it's it's happened in the past many times. We are at historically low tax rates right now. Read the room. <laughs> Anyway, have a great week. Um, please subscribe. Like I said, leave a comment in the in the comment section, which is where comments go when you leave them. <laughs> say, you, Mark, you are like on um, keep swinging. Fire I, the, today you know, when, when, when I saw that, set up a strategy session. You can tell Mark is very knowledgeable and very passionate about this subject in helping people. And it's super simple. We'll do a 30-minute yep. Zoom call or phone call, FaceTime, whatever works most easily for you. No hard press sell. If, if you say, you know what, I want to do this and that, and I say, oh, I can't do that, or leave your money alone, you're okay. Yeah. But if, if I say, you know what, let's look at doing a strategy where we can move this money and get it producing some tax-free income. Whereas if we move $20,000 now, we know that in retirement, that's going to provide you $40,000 a year in tax-free income if we do it correctly. Let us put together a case design for you. So like I said, we have a 15-minute, 30-minute phone call get a little bit of information, see what will work, see if we're a fit. And then we'll schedule, you know, usually a week to two weeks later for a let's sit down, let's put together a plan, we'll show it to you, and then we'll tweak it, we'll flex it, we'll make it work for you. Protect your assets and retire tax-free. Hit the subscribe button. Please, I've really lost the ability to talk right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm gonna go have a coffee. Thanks. <laughs>